Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make a real 256 MIDI. So first you'll need this MIDI flipper. I'll put the link in the video description below that you could get it. And this thing is open sourced, very good. You can get the source code here. Okay. There, I'm gonna unzip this thing first. And then just simply click on the HTML file and it will bring you to this page. Remember to check this or all your drums will be lived in 128 keys area. Yeah. And here I'm gonna do 128 plus N. So move to 256 keys. Now I'm gonna choose the uh, MIDI that I previously made. I can choose this one. And here you can get the transform the MIDI by clicking here. Now you can see I'm on 256 and it's over here on the right side. And now what I want to do is I'm going to merge it with another one. Here, I want to choose Club on Fire. Yeah. Now, let's have a look at this. So you got Club on Fire on the left side and the core keygen on the right side and it's real 256 as you can see I didn't made any video editing here This core keygen is actually a 88 keys MIDI that I made, so it doesn't fill out uh, all the spaces here. Okay, so this is how you make a 256 MIDI. Now, when you look at this page again, have anyone noticed there's a preset that we could use? But there's no function that can move all keys to 256. 
And this web page doesn't give us any function that could add to this list directly here, but we can modify the HTML file. And so this is why I want to download the source code instead of using it online. So I'm going to open this HTML file with Microsoft front page and here and here from 107 to 126 is the presets. And now I want to add another option here. So enter 128 plus n. And then here, we're going to define the text that it's going to show in the list. So we're going to do move to 256 keys. OK, good. And you're going to save it. And when you open it up again, in the presets list, you'll find move to 256 keys. And here you got an expression already typed. And also there's some uh, little more further modifications that we could do. So it gives us many uh, other options here, but I don't think we quite need those, so we can delete them like this. And also here, purposefully mess with percussion. This chat box, we can let it be packed. So now, this chat box will be automatically checked when you open the web page. Yeah, see? It's there. Now, I want to check one more scene on GitHub. Let me have a look at the license to see if I could give this modified version directly to you. Oh, here, it says free of change to any person obtaining a copy of this software and associated document files. So that means yes, right? Okay, then I'll put both this link to this GitHub page and also my modified version of this MIDI flipper for you to download.